Greetings, knights and knaves, lords and ladies, tis I, your lord commander. And welcome back to another video of Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Now, before we begin, we do have uh, quite a few new characters to introduce, actually. From King Merlin 909, we have Kitten Stonehot, a man of the north, a traitor at heart, who, has, who was operating in the lands of Sir Baron when the war between his people and the Order broke out. Disgusted by the sudden act of aggression by King Ragnvad on the good people of Sir Baron, he joined with his army. He uses a one-handed axe, which I can't really change if I'm being honest, and a large round shield used by his people. As for armor, his life as a merchant allowed him to buy the best the lands of Sir Baron had to offer. And then he says, you can of course edit him as needed. Which I really appreciate, thank you my dear friend King Merlin. And then next we have, from Betrayed Gamer, we have Thorstein the Betrayed Knight. Thorstein was a viking and fought for the Grand Prince. One day, he wanted to leave for home and was hunted down by the Grand Prince. The prince ended up slaughtering the man's family and he was full of vengeance since then and has opted to join the military order to seek such divine justice. Which I absolutely love. Let's go ahead and get both of these lads favorited so we can keep an eye on them and their progress. We will be watching your progress closely, very closely. And then lastly, uh, this guy's not really a companion of ours. However, he is in fact a clan member of the Knights of Light. This is another character that I created uh, for uh, the uh, the Knights of Light, their Lord Commander within our Discord, uh, Sir Adrian. This is uh, Tidael Marden. Marden, sorry. <laughs> in his life, he was a bard. He performed in taverns, brothels, all the way to heights of the Court of Kings and the personal audience of the Emperor. When war broke out, he was drafted into the King's personal service. He wasn't the strongest warrior, but he could inspire rats to fight like dragons. During a devastating battle, the king he was sworn to serve was injured in the fighting, and rushed to safety. The men were disheartened, and many deserted. Those who stayed only did so at the behest of Tyrael, the king of Song, who sang a ballad so uplifting and inspiring that the remaining force of 200 men fought off and defeated an advancing army of 800. Tyrael lost his life in the final charge and was buried under the ground at the site of his last stand. His actions saved the lives of many within the realm, though he did not survive to see it. Which uh, may sound confusing, but the uh, the Knights of Light are essentially like a resurrected uh, order of like of like honorable souls that were brought back, you know, by the light to serve the light, almost like uh, Game of Thrones. Now that I'm now that I'm hearing it out loud. <laughs> But uh, rather than like a specific priest like bringing them back or anything, it's like they were ju they're just resurrected, and then you know the re the other people, the other resurrected knights of the light, uh, they know uh, where to go and find them. So, uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool. I really enjoyed uh, creating some of these characters. I really enjoyed that. We've got two Northmen to join the army. But yes, those are our new characters. And uh, without further ado, let's jump straight back into the adventure. Now we are. Uh, still currently at war with the Vlandians, and rightfully so, because uh, last episode, at the very, very end, uh, we did in fact execute King Erdrand the Cruel. Finally, our long-term nemesis, we finally uh, took him out, took out the bastard. But uh, <laughs> um, So we're going to keep going while they are weakened, uh, unfortunately. It is. It has come to this where we... Uh, we have to choose such uh, dastardly methods to bring about uh, peace in our realm. But that's alright, we're going to summon all of our banners. And we are going to head in this direction towards Pen Kenok. And hopefully start to take some of these fiefs out from under their their thumb, their rule. Who else is uh, is attacking them? Who else is at war with the, uh, the Vlandians? Because they're still currently <coughs> under siege, it seems. Oh, the Sturgeons. The Sturgeons and the Western Empire. Wow, they're just making enemies with everybody right now. That's insane. Beautiful. What is happening? For the freedom of a Rundulf decline. Maybe one day, but not today. They have 517 men here. And even more if Peric gets there. Oh, even more. Get there. Get to them. Quickly. No, they made it inside the castle. They have 700 men there now. Jesus. We're we won't be able to take them if we try and take that castle. Which is alright. Which is A-OK. -okay. Oh! 
On the 21st day of summer 1090, a child was born to Elena. That's amazing! We've had our first child! Yay! Finally! The- Ah, oh, beautiful. The- The heir has been born. Boy or girl matters not. Our heir has been born and the line of secession is well intact and secure in the- The realm of the Militate Order. That is absolutely amazing. Wow, that's so nice. Oh, here we come. Full, full, uh, full armor and everything. That's amazing. The scale armor and the, the cloak. That's amazing. It looks so good. Our beautiful light. Our beautiful wife. That's amazing. How sweet. What a nice moment. How lovely. Aw, okay. Alright, we're gonna put this on pause right quick. Hold on now. Hold on now. Uh... Oh, wait, no, I didn't want to see the cutscene again. No, 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 no. Take me to my clan. We have... Who is this? Who are you? Can I not see who you are in the, the encyclopedia? I guess not. Child of Sir Barons. Car Carmenet. Carmenet. I can't tell if it's a boy or a girl. What kind of name is Carmenet? I don't, I don't understand. Oh, it's a daughter. We have a daughter. Oh, amazing. I love that. Alright, we're gonna change her name though. I do not like Carmenets. <laughs> I don't know what kind of name Carmenets is, but I, I'm not a fan. So, uh, I like Olivia. Olivia. With a Y. I love that. Olivia. Beautiful. And now, the, uh, the line of secession is well intact and secure. Let's get here and help. No! Oh, we almost had him. Morkon. Let's get him. The first battle of, uh, the war. You know we are at war. Wait, 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 wait. He's happy with his current leech. Alright. Fight me then. Attack. 516 men versus 95. This should be very, very interesting. Oh, beautiful. Look at this terrain that we have to our advantage. That's amazing. Let's put our archers up here. Absolutely beautiful. What a menacing, menacing position right here. That's amazing. A1 positioning, in my opinion. Oh, uh, well, hold on. Maybe. Give it, a, give it a minute. It's a work in progress. Hang on now. There we go. That's much better. Maybe if we put it on the face here. I know they're probably going to come from this area. Definitely from across the bridge, maybe. Hmm. There we go. I was about to say, let me turn the camera so I can see it a little better. But uh, let, let's stretch them out this way. Can I do that? Lads? They said no. Beautiful. See, that's better. Alright. And then uh, infantry can remain here at the base of the hill. Let's put them in a shield wall formation for now. Infantry like so. And then our cavalry like so. And then actually we'll, we'll start another... Another one? We'll do 50%. We're going to split them in half. Because uh, I've been very angrily commented at <laughs> about my, my tactics, my decisions to, uh, you know, <laughs> lead my men in, in certain manners that, uh, that causes a lot of death, unnecessary death and destruction. So I apologize for that. It was not my intentions to, uh, to drive you all insane like that. But that is all right. So let's, uh, let's actually, hold on now. Let's give this guy, bring the rider command of these guys, and I myself shall take command of these guys. Ingortha. Halgad. He doesn't have a bow though, so I guess it makes sense for Ingortha to be the guy here. And then Orion, actually, 41 leadership, 0 leadership, tactics, 16. Tactics 129, that's why. Okay. Orion the, chim the Chimera can remain as the uh, the commander here. I just wish we could have uh, another one of our companions. But that's alright. Ingorthra, I'll deal. It <laughs> should be fine. Uh, so yeah, they're fine. And then we'll, we're going to command here. Yeah, see, they're, they're all the way across the bridge. I don't think they're going to attack us, actually, now that I think about it. So we might have to move our men anyway. Oh yeah, my bodyguards. 
Get out of here, guys. Go back to your formations, you silly bastards. I forgot we had these guys, I'm not gonna lie. I, it looks like their cavalry is gonna hold. Oh yeah, they're gonna try and hold this bridge. So let's bring all our men forward. Come along, lads. Oh, their their cavalry gonna take us. Nah, they're just moving the position, I think. Soldiers, attack! Got somebody. Troops, follow me! So follow me! There we go. Get our cavalry to follow me. Converge on my position, lads. Very nice. Oh. How dare you. Oh yeah. Got him. Beautiful. And here comes the rest of the cavalry charge. Beautiful, lads. Have at him. Perfect. Yeah, there's still five of them left, which is fine. Which means our infantry can come this way, and our cavalry can also come this way. That's not what I meant to do. There we go. That's what I meant to do. Jesus, sorry. I keep I just keep shouting commands. Oh <laughs> look at all our cavalry, 80 cavalry trying to chase down these two guys. That's insane. But here they come. Like a wave. Beautiful. The pearl and amber. I know I keep saying like white and amber, white and orange, but like you know what what would those colours be in uh the context of like a, a medieval kind of Era, you know what I'm saying? It would be, uh, you know, pearl and amber. Obviously, they know like the concept of what regular colors are the way we do, but you know, how would they make said, uh, you know, colors? Like, what would they utilize? Oh no, Broom the Rider, he was cut down. Get that man, get that Vlandian knight. He was a brave man, he was a brave fighter. Just then, hiya! Cut his ass. Another one. Nice. I took his arm off. Oh, Jesus. There we go. How about them, lads? There's just so many of us. Like, what could they hope to accomplish here? You know? Let's get our infantry to uh, engage. How about them, boys? There they go. Oh my god, move horse, no! I murdered the horse, I'm so sorry! It got in the way, I swear, it was an accident, you saw it! There we go. Charge at them! Beautiful. Absolutely insane. This fight is... Look at these guys, who are these? Oh, Kuz8 marksmen. Why are they fighting with Kuz8s? Oh, are these, uh... Oh, they're, uh... uh mercenaries, that's why. Silly. All troops have at them. Hi. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh. Alright, they're fleeing. Let's, let's let them go. We lost two men. Two men were killed in that fight. Enough. I am your prisoner. 
I can pre I can pay a ransom. I am worth more to you alive than dead. Yeah, probably, but <laughs> for now, you are my prisoner. I am at your mercy. Indeed, you are, my lord Morcon, of the of Day Morocco. Interesting. Enough. You win today, you dog. Ah, the shame of it. I, my lord, you are my prisoner now. I was about to call him Baron, but I realize he's not uh, Baron Morcon. He's just Morcon. Then Patrice, you arrived just in the nick of time, Sir Baron. You have my deepest thanks. Uh, I would hope you remember that whenever, you know, your emperor wants you to go to war against me again and attack my people, I would beg that you, uh, don't. Wow. Five, ten, and then eleven arches. Beautiful. Give me all of this loot. Give me the loot. Beautiful. And they are taking a castle. I don't think I can help out in this siege battle just yet. Oh, I can! Join the continuing siege. That's amazing. We're gonna fight w alongside the, uh, the Imperials. That's amazing. That's so cool. Help Fostor's army attack. We're gonna fight alongside the Empire. That's amazing. The Western Empire. That's so cool. I hope this will help, uh, mend some relationships between us. Obviously, they can have the castle. You know, they, they were here first, they did a majority of the job. We're just here to help fight off the Vlandians. That's really cool, I like that. I wonder if I can p make, an, uh, make an alliance or a pact. Beautiful. This is gonna be fantastic. Uh, I'm ready. Let's just, let's just, no hesitation. I hope this uh, looks okay for you. I know it's a nighttime battle. This is not intentional, you guys. If not, hopefully there's a way I can edit it and make the brightness a little, a little higher for you guys. Jump! Beautiful. Let's just go. Like, this is going to be amazing. I'm so excited. We're going to fight alongside the Imperials after so much bloodshed between our realms. Oh my gods! Oh, Jesus! They have so many siege... siege weapons. My god. This is going to be a brutal, brutal siege. We have them so outnumbered, though. It's only a matter of time before we storm the castle and, uh, and take the city. Oh my god! That was right on my... Right on my heels, that's insane. Oh my god, that was too close. Where are all these ladders? Ah, they're over here. I should be careful though. If I rush in and I get myself killed, I'm gonna be quite upset with myself. I wonder if I can break down this door. No, never mind. That's that's exactly where the uh the battering ram is going. It just it didn't look like the 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 main gate, you know what I'm saying? So I apologize for being a silly man. Let's see if I can't get a couple of sniper skills. Snipe, sniper kills with my sniper skills. Got one. Amazing. I'm just too good. Oh my! Oh my god! They killed so many men with that shot. How dare you. Stop loading. Oh my god. Oh nice, they got him. Hey, yeah! Oh my god. So much death and destruction. Hey, yeah! Nice. We're gonna go and we're gonna keep shooting until we run out of uh, ammunition, and then we're gonna storm uh, up the ladders. My God, this is intense! Absolutely intense! Oh my God! They killed so many men. These catapults are insane. Where'd they go? Oh, he's smart. He doesn't want to show himself. Hiya! They're good. They're quite good. Hey, yeah. Nice. But I'm better. How dare you. I think they killed that man. Alright. We push forward, man. Up the ladders. I'm with you, Imperials. Oh my god, all the arrow fire. That's amazing. Oh my god. Just so many, so many men. Storm the walls, lads! They come, they prepare to, to repel borders. Ow, how dare you. I have your back. They carry, uh, Vlandian banners and colors and standards, but they, uh, they look like, <laughs> like Britannians. There we go. Oh, 
Oh my gods. Oh my gods, the lag. Oh! These Batanian Vlandian hybrids are so, like, tough. Oh my god, the lag. I'm so sorry, you guys. There we go. Nice. Nice. We get these archers. Nice. The men uh, storming the gate are just gonna have, like, body parts and blood fall on top of them from above. And it's gonna be, they're gonna look up and see the fully plate armored uh, Sir Barons cutting down the uh, the defenders on the walls. Beautiful. In the gatehouse. We take the gatehouse. Oh, we've already stormed the, 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 the gate. That's amazing. Just a massive siege. Oh, they're all up there. Hold on, let's get some sniper kills with our sniper skills. Hiya! I I hit one man. Hi yeah. The the sound of the artillery fire in the background is just absolutely intense. That's crazy. Who else is left? Where's that eight? Look at our bodyguards. Zhang Chu, uh Brungotha the Anvil, and uh Yuri the Tornish Knight. Oh, and Halgard, the loyal. That's amazing. Our, our beautiful mate. Absolutely amazing. Such a good fight. We didn't lose a single man. We have one wounded uh, warrior. That's Denolf the swordsman. That's crazy. We did so good. That was such a good siege. Fighting alongside the Imperials is uh, was an honor. It was an honor to fight at your side. Hopefully this will begin to repair uh, our, yeah, our broken uh, relationships. Foster... Thanks for your help, stranger. We haven't met properly. We haven't met properly yet, have we? What is your name? My name is Sir Baron, sir. Well met, Sir Baron. I am Fostor. Thank you for your help, and I hope we meet again. As do I. As do I, my friends. We didn't get any level ups for that, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure it's just because uh, I think only our companions actually fought in this fight. In this fight, not our actual men. But that's all right. Bowman's flag. Increased range damage. Interesting. Very interesting. Lots of good gear. Fighting against the Vlandians is so, like, economically smart. <laughs> because, uh... Fossil, thanks for the help with the Siege of Abkomer Castle. You were able to loot your fallen foes, but you do not participate in the sack of the castle, as you are not part of the army that took it. Okay. Oh, they, they don't want us to come into the castle. That's alright. I understand. It is okay. It is quite alright. Untheric of the Brotherhood, Inric the Gallant, perfect. We have 741 and soon to have much more. We have 900 men in our army, that is absolutely insane. Oh, even with 900 men, there's no way we'd be able to take this castle of 628. There's no way. There is no way. That's so sad. I would love to have been able to take Pen Kenok. But perhaps we can head south instead and be a little, uh... Be a little ballsy. Try something uh, a little, a little ballsy. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Hopefully, nine hundred and ten men going to besiege uh, Tilavel. Stop moving so I can read. Damn. Hello. There we go. Three hundred and five defenders here for the re for the freedom of Rothard. Besiege the castle. Decreased by 5 to negative 70. Increased by 11 to 38. <laughs> Why? The non-aggression pact between Batania and the military order has expired. And the Northern Empire. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's get a battering ram. And some more... Uh, of these things. We gotta keep an eye on uh, the rest of uh, the rest of the lands, just in case we become we come under siege by uh, by our enemies, our adversaries, and so on. They have so many catapults. That is insane. 
please hurry. I hate just standing still like this, this is terrible. But our trebuchets, they're quite fast, or they're quite accurate, whereas these uh, catapults are not. Quickly, oh, their reinforcements come. Okay, we just gotta, we just gotta do this now. There's no hesitation. Because their, their reinforcements are right on us. And I don't want them to jump past us and then start to attack our villages and our castles. As the only the only downside to working offensively is uh, is that we have to abandon our lands to go and fight somewhere else, and it's quite sad because Sir Baron just uh, his wife just had their first their first child, and he's off in Vlandia fighting away in Vlandia away from home, uh, fighting the Vlandians. So sad, so so sad. Oh man, this is amazing. We we are in charge of our own uh, siege this time. There's not a whole lot of cover to be had here. This is a very small castle, but I, I'm quite enjoying this, uh, what's it called? This build here. This is quite interesting. Okay, so let's let's do something like this. I kind of like the positioning that we have here with the arches, but I'm actually going to split them up. So let's do arches, arches, and then infantry. We'll do 50-50. 50 50 perfect uh halga the loyal yes uh where did he go no not you what the so adrian why are you all the way down here why is that so why is that why i'll just use the uh the recommended i suppose there we go see that one's makes sense for some reason that's fine okay so our infantry uh, unit 1 can be up here. Oh my goodness. Like so. In a shield wall position. Position 2 over here. Also shield wall. Like so. Position 3 can be here. Position four can be. Uh, there's not a whole lot of cover to use to utilize, which is unfortunate. But uh, they can be back here. Ready. And I'm gonna hop off this mount and uh, and just remain ready. I feel like since we're so close. Okay. Uh, I need all of our archers to face this direction. Uh, F seven. Yeah, you all need to look in that way. Thank you. Here comes more archers. Beautiful. But yes, I feel like because we're so close, uh, they won't be able to use their artillery against us all too much. I'm, I'm hoping at least. That was a close shot. Was that too low? Was that too high? That was too high, but it's alright. Hiya! Nope. Oh my god, hello. We're gonna get right up in their face. They can't see us if we're if we're all up here. Oh, my bodyguards! I forgot about these guys. Hello. Hiya! I saw you, little bastard. Oh, I don't think I can see that guy. You can hear the the uh, the artillery firing now at this point. Oh, sprouts. Imperial recruits? Crazy. Our, our... Oh god. Our soldiers. It's a valiant fight. Oh my god. That's insane. Oh my goodness. Was that our trebuchet? That's insane. Good shot. Hiya. Very nice. Yeah, we're getting some kills with the trebuchets. That's amazing. 
Very nicely done. Worth the build, worth the time. Oh my god. Pull our infantry forward, get them ready to storm the storm the castle. How dare you sh shoot at my king's guard, you bastards. There we go. Oh my gods. Who's shooting at me? How dare you? I know it wasn't that guy, but I, I hit him anyway. Very nice. Oh I'm, out. oh, I'm out of ammunition. So sad. Bring down that gate, lads. We storm the castle. Oh, very nice. Here they come. Infantry! Pull forward. Be ready. That gate is almost done for. Let's go, lads. So close. Two more hits. One more hit. Okay, now one more hit. <laughs> okay, now one more hit. Beautiful. Let's go, lads. We gotta be careful of above us, because they can drop rocks and stuff on us. Infantry! Charge! Here they come. No! Infantry! In here! You silly bastards. That's alright. I will cut it down myself. There we go. They're getting it now. Come on, lads. Bring down this gate, lads! hi -yah! Almost done. Oh my god, look at all those troops on the other side. Jesus. We better be ready. Oh my god, storm them! Infantry charge! All troops, have at them, lads. Take the castle. Oh my god. We've made it through, we've broken through their lines. Let's go. From behind, hit them from behind. Amazing. Oh my god, we're just tanking these hits. Thank god for this heavy armor. Oh my gods. Our King's Guard fighting valiantly at our backs. Amazing. I have your back, friends. Very nice. Brungotha the Anvil. I just saved his life. I just saved that man's life. Amazing. Let's go. Let's go. Cut them down, lines. Amazing. Let's go, let's go. Beautiful. Infantry! Loose infantry stand apart! There we go. Whew, crazy. Oh that's right, we're still out of ammo. I'm sitting here gonna I'm sitting here thinking I'm gonna like start fighting these guys with my, my crossbow again. No, I'm not. <laughs> Look at us storm the castle, amazing. 300 troops still remain, and we've already broken through the, the, the castle uh, gates. That's crazy. But they're all back here. I will take my, my personal guard and we will, uh, we will pursue them further. Oh, they're archers. Oh, dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa oh, they, they got me, they got me. How about them, lads? King's guard attack. Hey, ah. I know we're the king of the military order and all, but I don't like calling them my kings, either, you know? Maybe maybe the Lord's Guard, or the Lord's Chosen, something like that. The Lord's Commander, or because I am the Lord Commander and I like that title, you know? I'm not going to change my name to like, King Baron, it's Lord Commander Baron. But uh, I don't know. Who knows? Oh, here they come, they come from the walls, lads. Look at all our troops, absolutely beautiful, these lads. Let's go, we'll lead our King's Guard around them. On their flanks. Surprise! Oh my god.
Oh, they've turned around. How about them lights? This dude's shield. Oh god, we shattered it. We shattered his shield. I think that's it. Oh, that was it. Beautiful. Victory, lads! Victory! We've taken the castle! Absolutely amazing. Oh, the, the poor decapitated head. Oh, lords. Oh, we lost 33 men in that. Our personal party only lost. Actually, we didn't lose anybody. We didn't even get any wounded. That's crazy. We did so well. Amazing. There's just so many of us. That's why. That's why it looks like a high number. It's because there's so many individual parties. That's crazy. Very nicely done indeed. Uh, let's take all of these prisoners, get all of these level ups. Uh, Imperial Archer, Knight Legionnaire, and then uh, let's get another Imperial Footman. Done. And then give me all of this loot. Beautiful. Telavel ta uh, Castle is taken. Election has started. Amazing, and we're finally taking our first foothold, our first chunk of land uh, from away, uh, uh, away from uh, the Vlandians. From King Cervic now. Very, very cool, I think. <laughs> manage prisoners. Let's drop off everybody. Done. Leave. Manage castle before we vote on the new owner. Security is low. 63 days. So let's give them lots of money to help them out. They're not entirely unhappy. Uh, so I'm hoping that by... Uh, you know, giving them some money, they'll be able to finish these uh, these projects in time. Uh, we definitely need we definitely need the gardens, and then definitely a col uh, toll collector, and then I think one more to the wall, one to the castellane, and then one to the barracks for now. And then we can grant somebody uh, ownership uh, at some point because we have more than enough to be able to make another party leader, another lord, another vassal of the uh, the military order. So that should help out quite a bit. Uh, manage garrison. They have 30 troops here already, which is pretty not bad. But let's just kind of take a look. See who can spare. I want to give them some pretty high level troops, especially these happiness. Let's give them half our happiness. Half our knight legionnaires. Some lords justices. We've got quite a few of these lads. Uh, I want to give them some more archers. Let's give them 10 archers. Perfect. I like that. I like those numbers. 70 troops to, uh, of our own personal guard. Uh, leave. Yeah, look at all these people. They're trying to rush past us. Oh, the Brotherhood of the Woods, they've abandoned us. No. How could you? To free Morkon? Sure. Oh, look. An army. Owner of Tilavin. Okay. Uh, the, either Gwyn the Defiant or the Grim Knight. Let's give it to... give it to Gwyn the Defiant because I'm actually not going to give him back Legeta just because he lost uh, the city which is fine you know I understand I'm going to hold on to the city for now but uh let's actually go to our clans the Knights of the Light they're not doing too terrible their influence is very low but honestly it's not it's not like terrible they do have Thraktoray Castle already yeah Oh my god, my poor brother. I gave him to Bilis, which is all the way in the Azurai lands, and then we gave him Tillaville, so he's got two incredibly far uh, castles to take care of. Well, so, so does the Grim Knight, but that's alright. So he has Thraktoray, so let's give him, uh... Let's give him Ligeta. Grab Thief. Done. Perfect. There you go. The Knights of the Light. Let's take this fight as well. Oh no! Oh god! Okay, it, it froze for a second, so I got I got nervous. You took Tillavel Castle from us, and we will not forget this. I would hope not. You know we are at war. Surrender or die. I have no wish to fight, but I shall certainly not surrender. You heard me, my lord. Yield or fight. Very well. Death before dishonor. I am not mad at that, David. He does not like us at all. <laughs> Vassal of Damarok. Interesting. We just fought against him too. Uh, we attack. Very nice. 
very successful so far. I very much like this. <laughs> I feel bad going to war against our own people, you know, or people of the same culture, but obviously they're not our people, you know, because they don't value the same things. And I feel therein lies a very controversial uh, take, you know. Our people aren't who we share a culture with, or nationality with, or even blood with, but people that we share morals with. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's a little something to keep in mind. <laughs> you know, to utilize in real life. Alright, they're gonna definitely going to be on the other side of this bridge, without a doubt. So I'm, I'm ready to make this just a really huge, massive bridge battle. Honestly. But let's, uh, let's hide our uh, cavalry in the woods, for now. Our archers right here on the edge with our infantry behind. And we shall wait to see what happens. Because where are they at? Yeah, they're over there. But which bridge are they going to come from? I believe this one. So what if we were to just leave that position here, right? And then just come over to this bridge. Yeah, see, because here they come. Archers, move! Yeah, it's gonna be just a massive bridge battle. That's insane. I'm, I'm kind of ready for it. I'm kind of excited. Are they gonna try and flank us? They're certainly gonna try and flank us. So let's put these guys over here and these guys over here to protect our flanks. Yeah, you can see their, their horsemen are over there as well. Are they charging? They better not be charging. You better wait and give us the position, the uh, opportunity to uh, get in a position like you did. Little bastards. That's alright. I don't expect them to play fair. Soldiers! Yeah. Hide these guys behind these rocks. Position four. Hide behind these rocks. Go on. And as for our king guard, our king's guard, they can return to their usual formations. I kind of need our cavalry to charge them, but I don't want them to come the main way. Are these guys moving? They are moving. There we go. Oh yeah, the, the cavalry charges us. Oh god. I was not paying attention, I'm sorry. I was trying to get my, my cavalry in a position. Oh, they're not they're not going the flanks, no, I tried to get them to go the flank. That's alright. We're gonna send our cavalry for now. It's unfortunate, I did not mean to, to do this, I'm not gonna lie. But it is all right. It is a okay. These things happen. Then let's get our infantry to close position because their 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 full force is now fighting us on this bridge. Let's go, lads! Forward charge! Oh my goodness! Absolutely menacing! There we go. And here comes the lines of uh of infantry just charging forth in a shield wall. Let's go, lads! We have them so scattered. Amazing. Very nice. An absolutely menacing skirmish. They had so many men with them, but they were all recruits. Like, I know you can't see the kill feed because my big ass head is in the way. <laughs> but, uh, 
I'm seeing a lot of Vlandian recruit, Vlandian recruit, Britannian recruit, Vlandian recruit, Vlandian recruit. There's so many, man. Like, that's so sad. I feel bad beating them so badly, but low key, that's what they get. Like, that's what that is, in fact, what you get for attacking us, <laughs> you bastards. Very nice. Remember, I would like to to remind everybody uh, who's viewing this that we have not started a single war except for that with uh, King Death, uh, with King Erdurand at the very beginning. Every other war that has happened thus far in the game has been declared against us, you know, without us uh, provoking it by by any means. Oh, I thought I got him, but it wasn't me. Look at our men go! Like this is so cool. We did so good. Very well fought, guys. Victory lines. We lost 16 men. Not bad. Not bad at all. Very nice. We lost 16, but Lord but Lord Commander Sir Baron uh, killed 16 on his own. So that's pretty cool. That is pretty, pretty cool. Who is this? Ka Kasirea. Kasirea. She's a noble of Landia. I've never heard of her before. That's interesting. I wonder if she's a, a new person. We are at your mercy. As you are not a warrior, my lady, you are free to go. I'm free. Well, goodbye then. Yeah, see you later. Uh, Theoda, you are also not a warrior, so get lost. Darbin, you, however, are a warrior and a lord, so you are my prisoner. I apologize. Sorry to have to do it to you. Let's get all of these level ups. Perfect. Uh, six, oh, seven and six, one, two, and then three, done. Yeah, we're over limit with our prisoners, which is fine. We got a Volg. Ooh. So if you know anything, the Volg is actually really, really cool, uh, because we, we got it for, uh, our Dark Knight, uh, build. I kind of want to equip it. It's better than our current Lance. So we won't be able to couch the Lance anymore. But I'll be able to swing it. It's just, it's kind of slow compared to our, yeah, swing speed is 32. It's very slow, actually. But its length is really high. So we're gonna, we're gonna hold on to that for now. How is everything else doing? Nobody else is under attack currently, is there? Are they? Is there? Apologies. Usank is, uh, being, uh, is being besieged right now. That's crazy. Alright, so what I'm thinking is perhaps it is now time to declare somebody else as a clan member and then grant them uh, ownership of a thief. Unfortunately, we are quite even now. Everybody's kind of got two uh, thieves, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Two for the Knights of Light, two for the Defiant Knights, two for the Grim Knights, and then two for the Military Order. So uh, if we happen to take another thief in this episode, um, we will most certainly... Wow, they they chose to fight with the Southern Brotherhood, uh, the Southern uh, Southern Empire. Sorry, but if we if we do end up in fact taking another another castle or a city, then uh, perhaps we will be able to uh, <laughs> declare another vassal for the military order, another lord, another clan member. All right, let's head south to Sargo. See if we can't uh, if we can't take Sargo from the from the Vlandians. The poor Batanians, their whole land is just kind of being tossed around between uh, different factions, different kingdoms. Oh no. Okay, all that red, it just kind of made me nervous, but it's, uh, uh, they, Sir Kale, uh, was, uh, incapable of, uh, finishing a certain task, apparently. 492. See, that's even worse. Militia of Sargo. They're all militiamen, though. I'm gonna save it, and we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. We're gonna do a quick save, and then we're gonna try and take Sargo, which was our home and our, you know, base of operations. Uh, at the beginning of the military order, which I think is pretty interesting. Uh, besiege the town. They have Ballister, so we have to be careful. Failed to resolve caravan ambush. Oh my god. Sir Kale, you're letting me down, man. This is gonna be tough. This might be a tough fight, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of ready for it. So let's get one of these things. They only have Ballister. Like, they don't have anything that can take out multiple targets at once. I need these, I need this trebuchet to start firing. Like, please. Very nice. Get that battering ram going. Beautiful. Can we take Saga? I'm so excited. Maybe we can. Maybe we can't. There's so many Ballister though. I, if we could take out at least one of them, I feel like it would be per perfectly worth it. Let's get some siege towers. 
96. Yeah, we have to be we have to be quick. I hate being uh being still like this. You know I do. And the the reinforcements are kind of kind of watching us, you know. Their walls are cracked. That's crazy. Quickly now, quickly. Perfect. Lead and assaults. Let's go. Oh, fingers crossed, lads. Fingers crossed. Maybe we can do this. Oh man, not a whole lot of terrain to utilize, unfortunately. So, um, oh, this is me. This is beautiful. I've never seen Sargo from this uh, position here. It's so sad that we're besieging our our old home. It's so sad. But that is, that is all right. So I'm not going to split them up just because there's only one main thoroughfare anyway. So what I'm thinking is we just put all our men together, right? So oh, they have 52 archers. Shield wall lads. That is a okay. This, these things happen. <laughs> can I can I put them on here? I can. Wow. Forward. Oh, that's right. We do have to split them up. Okay. So we need we need infantry. three infantry, infantry formations, right? So infantry Move. number one goes. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We need like thirty three percent. 30, yeah, like 30 here, 30 here, 39, that's fine. Alright, so Soldier. formation 1 shall go here. Let's put them in a column, actually. Uh, F7. Nice. Soldier. We'll follow this thing. Uh, position 2, uh, also in a column. Position 2 shall be here, pushing that bad boy. Then position 3, also in a column, will... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. Oh no, wait a minute. Position 2, these are archers. My dumbass. Put them like that. Bowmen like that. There we go. Formation 3, like so, right here. Formation 4, like so, right here. Ready. I shall hop off my horse. Bodyguards, get back to your usual position, you silly bastards. There we go, yeah, start pushing everything. Why are you not in position? What are you doing, you silly bastards? Archers, attack! Let's get the, you know what, go to, like, go to position. Just do what you need to do. Right here, archers, uh, follow, yeah, follow Take your commanders. Command. Perfect, that's fine. Yeah, there we go, perfect, see? And now our infantry can focus on pushing the siege engines. We haven't gotten a single kill. I need our archers to get some kills. Let's go, lads. Oh, those ballista. They're going to tear us up. That's so dangerous. hi -yah! Oh, a little over. hi -yah! Nice. Oh, my goodness. It's so menacing. hi -yah! Oh, what the? Okay. He won't die. Oh my god, he's taken three hits already. Very nice. Okay, one baluster down. Oh, we can break the baluster. Oh, that's a barricade. Oh, I'm sitting here thinking I'm shooting the baluster. Nope, it's the barricade. Here comes the siege towers. Very nice. Oh, our barricade is what broke. Oh my god. I didn't even realize. Oh 
Oh my god. This is insane. I just need our infantry to push, like, really push these, this, uh, this assault here. Because our archers are getting absolutely murdered. We've lost 30 men already to their 9. With another 30 wounded, we've lost 6 60 men. We've only got 200 left in the siege currently. Against their 476. We really need to finish this. Like, let's go, lads. Get it done. Oh my god. I knew this was going to be tough, because we're fighting a, uh, uh, a fully uh, defended castle. Oh, quite nice. I think it's because we don't have any of our, our own troops here. Like, look at who's dying. It's not any of our, any of our troops. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm getting pushed off. Oh my god, this is insane. So much chaos. They're, they're coming down the ladders at us. There we go. See that, that balance of power shifted because some of our own troops actually uh, jumped in here. Perfect. There we go, there we go. They're pushing us down, oh god. There we go. Oh no, they're pushing us. Oh my goodness. This is insane. Just send all of them to attack. Like, let's let's get this done, lads. They're really pushing us down this uh, the siege tower right here. This is insane. How is this going? Nobody's here. Oh my god, I was not expecting that. Oh my god, how dare you. Oh my goodness. Nice. Oh my god, see these rocks are so menacing. Get down. Oh my god. They're still dropping rocks on us. Oh my god, I killed an Imperial Archer, I'm so sorry. Oh, they've got pikes and shields. Oh lord. Come on, push through them lads. We have this. These malicious spearmen are no joke. Oh, we're so weakened. Come on, please. They're just getting so many heads on us. Oh my god. There we go. We've made it through. Hit that back line, lads. I was looking for my uh, bodyguards, my, uh, but that's alright. Oh wait, 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 that's why. There you go. Oh, five soldiers, perfect, see? Our king's gone. There we go, have at the lights. Oh, 
Oh, those are all men. Oh, cool. We cut them. Oh, nice. We actually took Sago. Oh my god, we lost 179 men in that fight. Jesus. There's still so many in the walls. Storm their walls, lads. Cut them down. They're retreating to the keep. Oh my god. Absolutely menacing. Hiya! Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Victory, lads. Look how beat up we are. Sir Baron leads the charge and gets absolutely bloodied by these uh, militiamen. That's insane. Yeah, they're retreating to the keep. Wow, that's amazing. All right, let's get it. Let's get some of these guys. Uh, uh, I want both of these guys. I'm not gonna lie. Let's get a knight legionnaire and a happiness. Our our any the Mary, previously a happiness, has found glory on the battlefield. What did he do? Let's give him some tactics. Yay. And then, uh, Lavalios, the swordsman, previously a knight legionnaire. Um, let's give him some leadership. As a legionnaire, you know, I would hope so. Perfect. Very nice. 179 men were lost. That's insane. And another 200 were wounded. What a brutal, absolutely brutal siege battle. That was insane. My goodness. I'm certainly glad that is over though. Jesus. That was so stressful. We're over our prisoner limit, but that's alright. Because we have the city, we can just drop them off. Sargo has taken, election has started. Amazing. 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 I kind of want to keep Sargo, I'm not going to lie. But, uh... We're going to show mercy, obviously. Uh, decline. We're going to give it to a vote. For now. Uh, go to the keep, go to the dungeon, manage prisoners. Give me everybody and let's drop off all of the, uh, the lords. It's just the one lord. So he's gonna be very lonely in there, by himself. And these, uh, these lads can drop off. Dalian the Ill-Starred. He's a, oh, he, oh, she, I'm so sorry. She's a, uh, Batanian. That's crazy. Very cool. Uh, let's go to trade. Just drop off everything. Because there's just so much shit here. We're only going to get 91,000 from that because they're broke, but that's alright. Uh, manage town. I don't want to give them a governor just yet, but we can give them festival and games. Bound village issues, security, and loyalty drift are very low. Food, militia, zero, but plus seven, which is good. Security is nine minus two. Nearby hideout, negative prosperity. Yeah, bound village issues. They all kind of have something going on. So... We give them a good amount of money. Uh, militia grounds, workshops, siege workshops, fortifications. Let's do fortifications first. And then the siege workshop, and then regular workshop, and then that. That should be fine, yes. And then we can go help out their, their stuff. Bound village issues, yeah. Nearby hideout, yeah. We can take care of that. Betting fraud. Yeah. Leave. Recruit troops. That's what I meant to do. Not leave recruit troops. Very nice. I'm glad we did that. I am very glad we did that. But we now have to uh, remain on the defensive to uh, to prepare for the coming onslaught. But we're, we're slowly pushing into Vlandian territory now. This is amazing. I'm so fucking excited, you guys. But there are so many bandits around. No wonder these people are unhappy. These poor lads. Alright, let's go back about and uh, owner of Sargo. We're going to vote on it. They don't want to give it to me. Uh, Gwyn the Defiant or the Grim Knight. Uh, I'm actually going to take it. Like, I apologize. But I'm going to take it. They're both not going to like that. But it is A-OK. -okay with his council's opposition. I'm going to take the castle. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it as my own. That way, once we do... Uh, extortion by deserters. How, how dare you? I offer you my loyalty. Otto of Kaliok. Amazing. Yes, please go on. I am Otto. I've lived all my life here, working the land as do my kin. A lot of the people here in Kaliok, the common farmers and craftsmen like me, they like me to speak for them. You have my allegiance. I would hope so. I heard you may need some help with the problem, my friend. Yes, my lord, it is good of you to ask. A group of deserters has camped out, has, is camped out near here. They have come. They come every few weeks demanding food and money. 
They've killed two villagers who resist them. How dare they? Can I... Can I help you? I will wait here and join you in your fight. Me and all 700 of my troops will wait here <laughs> to fight off this army of, uh, of deserters. We're gonna wait, but we're not gonna wait too long, because I would like to sue for peace, I'm not gonna lie. We've already pissed off the Vlandians enough, and I do not want to... Yeah, see, Perabad of Vlandia. Send the troops, auto resolve this, quickly. Yeah, they have more men than us, so lord. Sure, just give me all the loot, whatever. Yeah, see, they're, they're attacking from Sargo. We have to get there, quickly! Before they take... this, finally. Whew, very close. We will auto-resolve this one. Oh no, never mind. We have to, we have to fight this one. 493 versus 358. I don't know if we can win this, I'm not gonna lie. Just because of how low we are on men, but... The, uh... Oh, it doesn't look like the, uh, the castle, or the city's gonna help us out. So we, we have to, we have to rely on our superior tactics here. I'm so nervous. If we can win this fight, we're gonna sue for peace, and that's gonna be the end of the episode. Because I do not want to be on their, on their bad side. And I know their war exhaustion has to be running really high, because we took... We helped take one of their castles, we took another for ourselves, and now we've taken one of their, their capital cities. Uh, which is very, very much gonna piss them off and put us in their, in their sights. I don't want that to happen. So we're gonna, uh, oh, nice. We already have them split up, which is amazing. So horsemen over here. More horsemen over here on this flank. I think they're gonna come right at us from, like, here. So what I'm thinking is we put our archers in the trees, kind of, right? Can I put my archers Archer. up here? No, it's too high. Or too too far forward. So we're going to pull our archers back this way. Our infantry shall push forward in a shield wall, actually. Very nice. Ready. Alright, move it, you bastards. Move, 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 move. I want them coming right at us. I want our archers up here. Oh, we can't. Why? That's so sad. That's fine. Pull our archers this way. Boom. Boom. This is perfect, right here. Let's get a long line of archers. Forward! Archers! Loose formation! Archers! Yeah. Forward! Get them a little move. higher. Perfect. Troops move! Our shield wall here. Send one to charge forth. Just give them a little bit of something to worry about, you know? There they go. Oh, let's let's get rid of our bodyguards. Go back to your, your formation, you silly bastards. They charge once, oh, let's pull them back before they get themselves killed. Follow me. Yeah, I want them to follow me. I wonder how this is gonna go. What, what's your next move? What are you gonna do here? Vladians? I still think we should wait. Yeah. Alright, pull back, pull back, pull back, move, move, you silly bastards. Soldiers! 
Charge! We're gonna take these men. We're gonna attack this flank of their uh, of their cavalry. Come along, lads. Yeah, I missed. It's so slow. It swings so slow, but at the same time, so wide. Crazy. Hiya! Nice. That wide sweeping swing, that's crazy. Oh my god! I took his hand off! Oh my god! I'm so sorry! I say as I keep doing it. There we go. That's crazy! Oh my god, this weapon is insane! There's 12 of them left here, in this formation. Oh, that's our own, mate. Oops. Oh, oh! There we go. Come along, lads. Let's hit them. Our archers getting kills. They sure are. Amazing. Very nice. Let's go, lads. Perfect. And the infantry has just made it. Oh, absolutely amazing. Perfect timing. Oh, beautiful. Look at all the green going on behind my head. Where did all these horsemen come from? Oh, my God. I see now that I was a fool. That is all right. Let's go, lads. Cut them down. Very nice. Oh my god, that was such a successful battle. That was insane. Superior tactics saw us through the day against a, a force that vastly outnumbered ours. That was amazing. Very well fought. They're throwing axes. Jesus. Lads, relax. Oh my god, he's panicking. Stop panicking. I say as if we didn't just cut down his entire army. And now I feel bad for telling him not to panic. He should very much panic. Nice. Victory, lads! Very nice. Oh, is that all eight? Where are the rest of them? There's only five men left. Come on, lads. Come on. Leave them be. Why? There's one man all the way back there. Where is he going? Oh, whoops. Oh, no! That's not what I wanted. I, like, I popped up something. Did not mean to do that. There is literally one man left. Okay, there we go. Much better. Very nice. A knight sultan this time. Nah, we have too many, uh... Too many companions, apparently. Oh, that was close. That was a very close fight. But that was... That was good. Those superior tactics. They saw us through the day. I appreciate you, uh, giving me your, your input and your insight. I give up. I give up. Call back your dogs. This is Narek of the Golden Bull. That's amazing. You are my prisoner now. Baron Eckerind, my friend, I yield. Give me the honors of war and do yourself credit. You are my prisoner now. Parabard. Very nice. Give me all these prisoners. Give me all these level ups. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Bam, bam, bam. One, two, three, four. Whoops. Can't count, I apologize. Very nice. Give me all this loot. Give me the loot. Damn. Now let's stop by in here. Yeah, these people still need uh, some, some serious work done. So we really need to uh, sue for peace. Go to the keep, manage. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Back to town center. That's right. We have a certain someone in our party now. So let us talk to Tavern District, ransom the rest of your prisoners. Go to the keep, go to the dungeon. Enter dungeon. Let's go talk to Ekerind. See if we can't get him to defect over to our side. And then sue for peace with the Vlandians. Where is he? Look at all these people. That's crazy. Ek Ekerind. I see you. He's over here. Hold on. Travelling through the dungeons to go and see my dear friend. Whom I've defeated in combat once again. And taken prisoner. Once again. <laughs> Oops. No wonder he, he's uh, opted not to, to talk to us in the past couple of times. 
My friend! See, he still likes us. I hear you took Tillaville Castle. I did. I have an offer for you. Join us and be set free. No, you are not! You are not happy with Cervic. Uh, you are my friend, so you are free to go. Ugh. I hate to see him stuck there like that. I feel bad, so... Naturally, I gotta let him go. So sad. I hope one day Ekerind can, uh, in fact, uh, join us at some point. You know, I would love to have him on my side. So let us leave. Let us go to the kingdom. Diplomacy. Paying a hundred and... Oh my god. One thousand one hundred and eighty. We're making a lot of money, though. It's mostly from Sargo. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Yeah, we definitely have to hold on to Sargo. It's making more money than, uh... Orticia. That's crazy. That's insane. Ugh, I don't want to pay you all that money for tribute, though. It's so terrible. Ugh, terrible, terrible. Alright, so apparently peace is not going to be an option this time around. Uh, but I will try and do a little bit off uh, video to secure uh, our newest city so that they're, they're no longer, like, weakened, I suppose. I just hope that nobody else goes to war against us uh, in the meantime. But anyway, ah, beautiful. For the first time in so many, so many long years, um, we have finally made our way back home to Sargo, and we have taken it. It now flies the the pearl and amber uh, uh, banner, the <laughs> the white and amber banner of uh, the military order. Finally, so uh, that is all the time we have for this episode. Uh, it was very, very, very interesting. I really enjoyed that. But without further ado, always, always, always remember the noble words of our honorable, honorable house. Honor and service, glory and sacrifice. And I, your Lord Commander, will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.